What's up everybody, welcome to today's video. By the title, you can pretty much tell what we're gonna do today. Do have to clean the seats up again, because they've been sitting obviously waiting for the car to get done. Car's done, car's back. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to actually be swapping out the rear seats, top and bottom, with these SI seats. Obviously, the red stitching goes out the way that's going on. And the uh, seat belts, we're gonna go ahead and place the seat belts. Unless one of the bolts is seized tight. Hopefully, the bolts aren't like it was on the 370. Geez, I hope not. But I gotta get in three seat belts, and we gotta get in um, this rear clip uh, as far as the, uh, the the back, the rear seats. So obviously, we got to take off the OEM seats first. Take out the the uh, EX seats, and then we're gonna place them with these awesome new SI seats. So let's head out to the car. Uh, I already got my tools out there, and let's go ahead and um, get it installed. And again, we'll clean them up once we get the rear seats out. We'll pull them in here, and we'll get these prepped and ready to, to go in the car. Let's head out to the car. Sweet. All right, guys, so we're back in the, the rear of the car. Okay, so we're going to remove these and put the old ones in. Now, there is a bolt. They say it's like right here. You can't see it. See, my bolt's already removed. But it's right there. It's a 10 millimeter bolt. You need to remove that bolt first, and then the rear seats will pop up. Keep in mind, the reason why my bolt's not there is because we installed the meth kit, and we had to remove these a while back, almost a year back. So, um, if you are doing it for the first time, you will have to remove that bolt. You will need a long extension, like so, like that, um, to remove that bolt. And then these should just pop pry up. So yeah, this popped up like that. It's just two clips right there. You can kind of see it right there. And right there on each side. And then you simply just slide this out. Get this up like that. On both sides. Stuff like that. Like so. And it's with one hand, guys. <laughs> and there you go. And that comes right on out. So I'm going to use two hands for this. I'm actually going to go ahead and pull these out right quick. And then we'll have to get to the bolts that hold these together. All right, now you see I got that out of there. It's funny you see how the dog is. This is where you would clean. You know, and you say if you need to or whatnot. But it's funny. I had one seat belt buckle <laughs> that didn't even uh, <laughs> stick back up. But here's the bolt right here, I think. That's, yeah, that's the bolt right there that goes into this hole right here. That sticks into the seat. There's the actual bolt. Obviously, I didn't put it back in uh, when we did a mess kit. So, as you guys saw, I do have the, the uh, seat belts. So, you already know I got to take this bolt loose right here. As well as this bolt right there loose. And that bolt at the end right there loose to get the seat belts loose. Um, now, you do want to disconnect the negative uh, terminal of your battery so you don't blow your air back. So, we're going to do that here in a second. I'm kind of just getting the lay of the land. We will need to take... I think that boat loose and we have to put the rear seats down. Now I have to remember how to put these rear seats down. I think there's a clip at the top and then they fold down. But let's go ahead and use our honey dandy socking tool to get these bolts undone first because remember I'm gonna be removing the seat belts as well. So I think this looks these look like to be a 12. Let's see. Alright you guys can see I cranked the car, I'm just gonna move it over um, so I don't uh, Hit the uh, Z at plenty of room to work with. You see, there's no lights on anything like that. So, as you saw last video, we got all that fixed up. Everything's clear, everything's good to go. Okay, guys, it's a 14 millimeter, these bolts. See if it's snug right there. So, you can use a 14 millimeter to take out all these bolts. Again, we're gonna bust these bolts loose because oh, I forgot about that one too. Because we're replacing the seat belts as well. So, let me go ahead and take all these bolts out and uh, we'll move on. He's up to the top of the aft here. Let's get him out your way. She can work. Bolts are pretty long. You know what seat belts the middle the middle seat belt, by the way it has this attached now i get to last one right here
Fucking boats are long. Yeah, move this seatbelt buckle up. You have to. Okay, you guys see. There we go. Alright. So you have all the buckles busted loose. Now we gotta fold these seats down and get the one, two, three, four, I think it's four screws to get this portion off. Alright, for those of you like me that didn't know how to fold on your real seats or it didn't make any sense, you have to pop these three tabs at the very top. As you can see, those three tabs up. That Those tabs are over the locks. So just pull them up and then simply go to your trunk. And on each side, you have a lever here, a lever here. Pull those levers and you can just simply push the seats the seats forward that's how you bring the rear seats down so you can access those bolts again i haven't put my seats down in a long time and i was like what the hell <laughs> but i just thought i'd go ahead and include it in this video for those of you that don't know how to do it or didn't remember how to do it again he's pull those three tabs up pull these two back push the seats forward there you go so let's go ahead and access these bolts um on the front So, I'm going to be taking bolts out. You see you got these little patches right here. Bolt right there. Bolt right there. And you see the patch right there. The bolt right there. There's also an additional bolt on the side right here. Let me move the camera. Uh, there's no bolt on the side right here you have to take out. And then these things are coming right on out. Then we'll have to work on the SOS mechanism for the seat bolts have to be up here up top. So we'll work on that next. Or maybe, should we... Now maybe we should remove these first and then walk. We'll Alright, these bolts are 12 millimeter to see you guys now. And there is another bolt right there. That's what I was saying. And he said, so let's take all those bolts off and this is pop it on out. Make sure you save these bolts because you're going to reuse them obviously. Uh, putting in the these SI seats or EX seats, whatever way you're going, or hybrid seats. Whatever way you're going. About this long. This seat should just come right on out. Back up the car. I guess we're gonna get this. There you go, see? Comes right on out. And now you have room to squat right there. Get those remaining bolts to get this one out. See, we got that bolt free. Don't forget, we got this bolt right here. Take this bolt right here and then the seat will come out. Bolt that's right there. There you go, as you can I pulled it out. Don't forget, remember it screws in right there. You have to slide that way just a little bit to lift it up. And as you can see, it's free to go and loose now. Just have to get this seat belt around it. And doing it with one hand like that. That's why you undo the seat, the buckle at the bottom right there. There you go. And this, now this is ready to come out. That's a lot of freaking weight. Now obviously if you are drag racing, you would leave uh, or racing in general. That's how you take out the real seats and you can just you just heard that stump. These things weigh a lot. Ooh look a mess tank. Um anywho, so now that we got this out this is where you would swap in the sic to do the reverse process of what i showed you um of course we're adding the buckles of course but we're not gonna do that because we gotta take off the sls uh seat belts and change them to yellow seat belts so i gotta figure out how to get to it i'm um, assuming hopefully i don't have to take out the side panel i'm assuming i just take out the top panel i can access it i don't know let's figure it out now I couldn't find any videos how to do this. Basically, this whole piece just pops on, it rivets like everything. But when you lift this up, 
Let me try it. Okay, sorry about them laying down. Look at this stuff. There's a wire right there. You can kind of see it. That holding that in place. Now, if you look underneath the car, it's actually this one right here. So I should be able to undo that and it should slide right on out. Um, that'd be easy to do from the outside of the car, but I'm inside right now. But yeah, something like that. Pull it down like that. And I'm pretty sure that's for the uh, that's for the speaker. Because remember to plug that back in. Let's see if this thing slides out. If it slides out, that's where it is, and that's how you access this seatbelt. So let's pull this out and see if this works. I was right about that. You see it slid right down. Again, just don't forget to put that wire back in. It's for the center speakers. Also, if you could change that to rear speakers, that's how you do it. You see uh, all three rear speakers, that's how you would access them to change them. So now, you got access to one seatbelt. Now we gotta get the sides. So hopefully these sides just fly up. Again, I'm figuring this out as I go. As there's no videos on how to get to the stuff. There it is right there. How I have to take this off. I'm looking. This just pops out, you see. Like, like so. I'm guessing this has to pop out. Yeah. Is he so? Uh, it was this party tab, that's how it is. So we're going to just pull this back now again. And we got to get this completely out. Well, it looks like there's something right there. Uh, almost like this has to come off. Well, There's a lot of work to get to this. I'm gonna use both hands. I'm gonna pry this off because I gotta get this piece out another access. This SRS. Be right back. Uh, uh, right there. So by the way. I tell you access the ones, you see the ones on the side right there. And yeah, the back right there you gotta take off if you want to change the front ones. This whole side the panel has to come off. Okay, turn the camera. Oh, sorry about that. Let's see. Let's see if that actually bring that off for you. Tap on the knee set. Knee set. There you go, see what's loose. Voila. And that piece back here is a bolt for the center piece so that doesn't come out so this just turns over like that you saw me do it live there we go there's the bolt so right there's access to that okay I don't see an SRS on that one maybe it's on the middle one right here but wow it's a small I think it's gonna be a 12 let's go get a 12 hi right, guys again it's a 14 millimeter those bolts so we're gonna use 14 bust that one loose that should come out. That's a long boat right there. Got the middle one out. Working on getting that one out. That goes turned the wrong way. But the middle one's free. It's a long boat. Let's get back on this one. So you can see a bunch of extremely long boats. Just gotta be patient. Just gonna work your way on it and just keep on going. Hopefully it's these side boats aren't as long that middle boat but that was just ridiculous I'm gonna keep there you go got that one out pretty long boat there's really no way to avoid damaging the side a little bit again you're not gonna see that because that, that's way in the corner and you have everything on top of it but I mean the, the boat hole is right there it's so tight I mean really not unless you have a swivel 
head or something. It's really not any way around it, but no big deal. At least it's in the corner and that's gonna go over it anyways. So we got two two out. This one's completely free. Now that one is just slip it out of there. Don't forget when you put the middle one back in, you gotta slip it, you gotta slip it through here to the belt. Alright, now we're gonna work on the last one, get the last one out, and then we'll be ready to swap it all out with the SI stuff. Let's work on that one. Basically the same process, pull the side off, pull that cover off, we'll slide it over and then start working on that long bow. Again, just pulling the side off. And now, uh, like that, so you get access to back here. That, I'll take this side cover off. And then, put the camera right here. Sorry about that. Camera right there. And then, put this one down right here. Pop that up. Walk this belt out of here. XL. Get the belt out. Again, we're placing this belt so I don't really care too much what happens to the belt. Sorry, the camera angle's all messed up again. It's just me doing the install by myself. Alright. Last time. Damn. This, this piece actually came out. See, there's no, there's no screw hole in this piece like a driver's side. So, this piece popped out. So, it'd be a lot easier to work with. And then there's a the bolt right there. We'll work on the bolt. And it's working it. Of course. Let's get it back on there. Ah, this bolt's are in a horrific spot. They really are. These bolts are really in a bad spot. Alright, and we're just gonna keep working it. Then we get off. Alright, well, I got the last one out. Damn these long bolts. Alright, so I'm gonna go get the seat belts. You see it's out. I'm gonna go get the seat belts now. We install the seat belts and I just basically go backwards. Alright, let's go get the seat seatbelts. I'm just gonna swipe through me having them in here. Okay, we have a replacing the seat belts right here. I'm gonna take them out the plastic and just set them in place. Go ahead and bolt those in, and then again, we'll reverse process on everything else. All right, look at this. I might have a problem. I think they got the seat bolts. One of the seat bolts is wrong. It should be this one right here. I think it's the one that goes right here. But it looks completely different than this one. It doesn't have the bar on the top, nor does it even have the hook. Looks like a completely different seat belt because it got a hook that goes to the bottom, and it's a smaller hook. The middle one looks fine, and this one looks like that one. I'm going to go and set those two in place, and then come back and look at this one, see if there's any way I can make this fit. I have to bend this bracket like all the way up. We'll see. Let's get these two in first. So it looks like I got set completely the wrong one. I got those two looking in right now, but that one's not going to go in unless I bend this way, way up. And then, you see this has this little mechanism bar. You can have that unless it's supposed to be this right here. Which means they didn't loop it underneath. So this is from a completely different car. So I got two choices. I could try to bend that and make it work. See if it won't. Because again, even if I bend it straight and get it in there, the seatbelt may not release. I have to get, I have to get up there to see. Um, and then order another use one of these and get it made in made in yellow a little bit later or just throw the stock one back in there for now until i order a new piece i mean i guess i might as well just go ahead and try to see if i can't bend this one up and if it fails or well just throw the stock one back in there just for now until i get the new ones uh the new si ones to uh swap that out to yellow yeah, this is gonna work. It's a long seat, but the orientation with this one is actually like this. And then the locking mechanism comes free. I need to set like this. So, I'll have to order another used SI one to get it made correctly. Because obviously, a guy who bought this one sent me the one. That sucks. Um, so, I'm gonna throw the stock one back in right now. And uh, we'll go from there. Again, I'm putting it all back together. As you can see, you gotta make sure that the seat belts still go down, guys. Before you put everything back together, make sure it still goes down. Don't forget to put it through the slots. Like so. Alright, let's finish. Guys, don't forget about that plug. You gotta plug that plug back in. I don't know if you can see it right there, actually. You gotta go through that hole. Do not forget that plug. Otherwise, your lights ain't gonna work. 
Alright, I'm gonna get all steps to the place. Make sure you got all three hooks showing, like so. I'm gonna put that one back in there, like that. So we put back in there, like that. So then you have all three hooks showing, and you know what's in there now. So, again, you wanna pop it in. It's a little off right there. I wanna pop it in the in the place. I'm a little off right there. Uh, so I also got snap rivets right there, and I'm back here too. See, I snapped that one. I just got snap it down. Alright, all right, putting these things back in were a bitch. So I had to get my, my power tool out. I had to get these bolts back in. Just to let you guys know, might be might be able to use a socket and a wrench to get them out, but getting them back in was so easy, it just wouldn't catch. So just letting you guys know, I had to use a power tool, but almost done. And I'll order a new belt. Uh, probably tomorrow or something like that. Let's go ahead and get this back together, and then we're gonna get the, as you can see right there, we're gonna start putting the SI into here. Hey God, man, this one looks like it's a little stripped. Just gotta be careful with these bolts, man. Bolts are a pain in the ass. Hopefully the seat will hold this down, this seat belt down. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna have too many people in my back seat anyways to begin with, so we'll have to get a new seat belt for that. Let's go ahead and put the rest of it back up. All right, here's back in, see right here. Don't forget to put that one back on. You may have a cap on and take the cap off so you can slide it through. So um, go ahead and put the other side on. You know, these go up like that, by the way, the screws, cause they're top, the screws go through the top, like that. And, uh, I'll be ready to put the bomb piece in. There you go, all the screws are in. Just closing this back up. And then, I think I need to move that out the way first of all. I need to feed that dude on the front side right there. And then we'll be... I messed up, I need to take the seatbelt off so I can run it through the front, through this clip right here. And then we'll be good. That's what I mean. I, I bolted it down first. But it has to go on the front of here. Right here. Excuse me. To loop around to go through that. So it slides down inside there. Otherwise, when you close the seat, it'll be behind it. Those two loop on the side. So it's just the middle one. Just remember, you have to do the middle one. You have to put the middle one through here. Alright, see, so there you go. So you see it's on the front like that. Now it's flat like the rest of them. Okay, so now it's time to put the bottom seat on right here. Oh, she pushed these up here to get these out the way so they don't get caught. Alright, let's get the bottom seat. And then we'll, we'll be good to go and start. We'll be done until I get this new one to swap out. Alright, last piece now again. Remember, you got that bolt that goes through right here. You can put that bolt back in if you want, but I'm not going to. It's going to hold just fine without that bolt, as long as you get it all snapped in place. So, let's drop this last piece on, and this install will be done until we get that uh, one seatbelt in the corner. As long as I get that seatbelt before a car show, that will be cool. But, woo, man, kind of a bitch install, and you got to be careful with the bolts and stuff. But, alright, let's get this last piece in there so we can call it done. Hey Mel, don't forget these seatbelt buckles. You gotta slip them through here before you lock it into place. So I take you one like so. And move it forward, slip it in. Take your other one like so. And remember the mark too, like that one's for the center, that's for that one. And then this one's for this side. Now again, once you get these seatbelt buckles in here, I kind of went overboard by doing this. This one's attached to this, so you kind of have to. Um, I can see how some people uh will admit doing this because you won't really see this this is extra credit right here but the black buckles is what i was going for so since i wouldn't get the black buckles anyways the asset buckles i might as well got the fabric we done as you see so let's slip these through here like that remember these are marked center and whatever slide this forward some or you get that slack i may have it upside down Let's see how long let's put this back out a little bit. No, I gotta kinda work it like that. Uh, even if I get it like that, that's fine. Because, like that, there we go. I wanna go like that a little bit though. Kinda like that, yeah, like that. Crisscross it, because that's what it's gonna see built right there. There you go, you hear it. And then simply make sure you get it in there. Like that. 
like so. I'm the get. And basically, you want to hit the hooks and you just gotta push it down with some force. So, I'm about to use two hands for this, like quick. Now, as you can see, there we go. It's not coming up. Easiest way to get these hooks in there if you can't, just sit in the seat. Simple as that. And there we go, bam, install complete. Badass. You kind of see that one in the video, which is badass. Awesome. Freaking awesome. So, now I got the red stitching going on down here to match the red seats. I'll get a new seatbelt for this. In a little bit, make that one yellow too, and black will be good to go. But there you guys go. I tell you, do a complete insulation and change from the EX rear seats to the SI uh, rear seats and changing the seat belts as well. There's no videos anywhere that show you how to change out these rear seat belts, but I got the first one. All right, guys, don't forget to click like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please post, the, post them below. Oh, one more thing I forgot. Don't forget about, you know, close these little clips right here up top. Close those like that. And then lock the seat. <laughs> there you go. That one's already locked. There you go. Keep our buckles down. Those buckles can stay up or down. But there you go. That's how you install the rear section of an SI. Alright, this car's coming along quite nicely. A lot of cool stuff going on. A lot of cool stuff going on. Alright guys, don't forget to, don't forget to uh, click like and subscribe if you have. Uh, don't forget to turn on your notifications so you don't want to post a new video. If you guys want to see any content or anything like that, let me know. Post a comment below. Hope you guys enjoyed this install and hope you guys learned something. Because again, there was no video anywhere that exists on how to do this. So this will be a tutorial and this will be the first. Alright guys, see you guys next video. Any again, you got anything you guys want to see? Let me know. Obviously, next up for this car, besides getting that seatbelt, which is I'll just tack it on to another video, it's not a big deal. Um, is probably the paint shop, more than likely, highly likely, paint shops next. We're gonna take this car in, get all touched up, repaint it, and then it's gonna be time for the audio shop, which is gonna be awesome. We'll take it to the audio shop and uh, get the TV and everything put in. All right, guys, see you guys next video. Peace. One thing you guys didn't know is I got the carpet with the red stitching as well going on. Yeah. Alright guys, here you go. Update, update, update. Here's the update. Here's the last seatbelt that we need for that rear so we can go ahead and finish this installation. There it is. You see how it bends right there. So we know it's the proper side that goes on the passenger side. So this one's yellow. We're going to go ahead and see, you can kind of see it right there. We're going to go ahead and take this out to the car. We're going to throw this in and then we'll be complete with this install. Let's get out to the car and throw this in right fast. You hey guys go a better look at it. There it is. SIC put yellow in this to make sure it goes straight so we know that's the proper one. It can sit like that and it unlocks. So, all right. Good. Now we got the right seatbelt. Black so we can come on match right quick. Throw this in the car. And we'll have all the yellow seatbelts and that project will be done. So again, let's head to the uh, car. Let's go ahead and get this installed. All right, guys. Here we go in the section. We got the uh, new belt. So we're going to go ahead and move this seat up. Check this car behind me, that one comes up, move the seat all the way up, like there, push this down, again we're going to place that belt, we got the knee belt right here, and now we have to um, take this seat down first, let's go and pop the trunk. And pull the tab. Yeah. Get my seat down. Bring the seat down. I wonder if I could change this. No, I can't. I still have to pull off the bottom piece right here. I can get to the top piece, but I can't get to the bottom. I'm going to just do the top now. And uh, let's be sitting here. Yeah, let's see. Cut these without taking the seat off. Pop this up, pop this up. I think I can. Like this. Get it down. Pop this up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can do it. Take the top off and put this new one without having to take this off. Let's see, let's get this new one in place. New one right there. 
with the camera and make sure I get these good angles for you guys. Okay. Um I have to hop back there. So before I do that, let's make sure I get all my stuff up here. That way I have everything back here. So I'm good to go. Over here. On the back. Oh, I love this. I love this part. I'll put the windows down, guys. So I get some air back here. Light windows down. Kill the, kill the power. Get it right there. Slide to the back. Okay, I'm gonna try to just finagle this part, wash it off, so without having to take apart this whole thing. I may have to still pop this down. Yeah. I may have to still pop this down. This seat down. I'm gonna get this side off. So I got this side off right here. Right there, which is okay. I get the seatbelt right there, like I just did. Oh, it's yeah. Let's put this seat down. Let's put this down. I'll move this back here. I'll move this. Right here for now. Move this right here. We need to put this seat down right here to get leverage on that. Otherwise, we won't get any leverage. So, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm on the tab right there. the back here. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Like that. Alright. Back inside again. Trying to get footy. Trying to get back footy. Hold on. Still have to take this loose because it's gonna be this part's gonna be behind here just to pop this loose. So still have to take this down. Get loose like that. Remember, you got that plug underneath it too. I forgot about that. So hopefully, I have enough room just to wiggle that out. Okay, it's back in as best as it can be. Just showed you that you can change out these belts and the top. So I had to take out the seats. You still have to take out the seats and all the RC bolts are saying take this one. Alright, let's go ahead and pull out the bottom seat and then swap this out. And we're gonna call this install down. We gotta take this bottom seat off and we just swap the bottoms and we'll call this install install done. We we'll go ahead and plug this in. Okay, I forgot to plug it in last time. I'm telling you guys, don't forget to plug it again. The plug right there, I'll plug it back in. Just 
back in, we'll go ahead and pop it down. Then we get the feet, feet fell back through the slots, and the center goes right there. That bell goes on front, and now we get the plug, that's how I get the plug back in. Alright, let's go ahead and push back again. Alright, installed in, here we go. I'll plug it up, I'll complete all yellow now. Now we match. All yellow and black. Alright, we got this installed in. Oh, I gotta get out this car. It's so hot in the back seat. There you gotta go. Alright, so I got the wrong belt. I uh, obviously ordered the new belt. Got it restored. Got it color changed. There you guys go. Completed the yellow belt. Here on the front. Here on that side. You can really see. Here on this side. I keep getting questions asking about uh, these uh, seatbelts. I have a video uh, about these uh, seatbelts and I originally got them done. Guys, guys, please, please watch the previous videos. Most of your questions will be answered if I just think what you should do. Tune in, watch. Again, if you have any uh, comments or questions, please post them below. Again, shout out. Guys, that's the phone number right there. That's the services they offer. Just tell them. I sent you the guy Pacific and the Z. Maybe even cut you a deal. But you guys are looking to get uh, seatbelts restored, color change. These are the guys you visit. Alright, guys, don't forget to click like and subscribe. If you have any questions, post them below. Please turn on your notification and turn that bell on. Ding! So you know when I post a new video. As well as any content you guys want to see, let me know. Got some more stuff coming up, including a yeah, POP drive. Uh, so, again, driving around doing errands and the cars because I know you guys like to see uh, the car in motion etc so again guys click like and subscribe please please get the word out and when the few people are actually modding the eighth year not doing again basic exhaust and and uh into air intakes you know this car is heavily modified got more to come again guys seatbelts visit these guys there's the phone number give them a call see you guys next video Peace.